अठारह यही कंज्यूमर हेल्पलाइन This picture is ugly any way you look at it. Doctors on a war path. Patients in the lurch. हड़ताल के वजह से मतलब डॉक्टर नहीं आ रहे हैं इसलिए हमारे बच्चे को मतलब तकलीफ हो रही है The government in inertia. I appeal to the doctors also with folded hands. That please, please go back to work right away. The Rajasthan government took its own sweet time to move. Three days, 68 deaths later, they acted. The doctors have pulled back, but at what cost? Can anyone bring back the men, women, and babies, innocents who lost their lives in this mindless strike? Whose responsibility is it anyway? Doctors or murderers is our top focus. On center stage tonight. You're watching center stage with Rahul Kabo. Doctors seem to have been bitten by the strike bug. Doctors in Delhi's prestigious Safdarjung Hospital are on, are on strike after three days of not working. Rajasthan's doctors have finally come back to work, and they're being joined by doc by board. people and nurses in mumbai who've decided not to work what's going on who's to be held accountable for the people who've died over the last few days because doctors haven't been working we'll debate that on the show let's get started these are the headlines trade union strike work across the country over 4 crore workers across sectors joined the shutdown to protest rising prices airlines are the worst hit as over 100 flights are grounded Defense Minister Anthony orders a fresh probe into the death of Captain Sumit Kohli. Anthony calls the death mysterious, sets aside the initial army probe first questioned right here on headlines. A careless error snuffs out a young life. First year DU student commits suicide after website incorrectly lists her as having failed. Parents and fellow students demand justice. The Delhi University administration is absolutely silent. 47 days after Green Crusader Amit Jaitwa's murder, Gujarat cops nabbed the influential main accused, BJP MP Dilu Solanki's nephew Shiva is arrested near the Rajkot airport. Just 3 months after a bitter divorce, BJP and JMM kiss and make up. Shibu Soren's party offers unconditional support. BJP picks Arjun Munda as its leader stakes claim to form the new government. Australian media puts the IPL in a fix but BCCI hits back promptly. The board trashes report claiming a leading batsman had to move up the order to prevent him from fixing matches. After outshining Zardari's contribution with a 1 lakh dollar A check Hollywood star Angelina Jolie follows it up with some hands-on help. Jolie travels to flood-ravaged Pakistan, appeals for more generous contributions. And the bang mob scuffles with superstar Salman and his bodyguards. The actor is mobbed during his visit to Hyderabad. He finally flexes his muscles to protect debutant co-star Sonakshi from unruly fans. After 3 days and almost 60 deaths the striking doctors of Rajasthan have finally called off their strike the truce came after the government suspended two officials who were responsible for the lathi charge on junior doctors last week but the families of the dead patients are extremely extremely outraged they now want criminal action against the doctors who they hold singularly responsible for the deaths of their loved ones An unruly mob burning in effigy. 
shouting slogans against the government. Anger on the streets of Jodhpur. It's a regular feature in democratic India, you'd say. But this is no ordinary mob. They are in fact the resident doctors of the city. It's day three of the doctor's strike in Rajasthan and caught in the crossfire are innocent patients. Patients waiting for treatment, but the doctors were busy protesting on the streets. In spite of the rising death toll, the defined doctors remained unmoved. Forget about any remorse, they actually justified their act with some bizarre theories. The normal death rate, whatever occurs per day, is almost the, it is showing the same trend. There has been no excessive deaths just because the resident doctors are on strike. The central government too woke up from its slumber. Speaking with headlines today, the Minister of State for Health literally pleaded with the striking doctors to get back to work. I appeal to the doctors also with folded hands that please, please go back to work right away and talk to the Chief Minister. If need be, if you want me to personally, physically come to Jodhpur if it's going to help the situation, I'm ready to go there. The three long days of suffering finally ended for the patients. The striking doctors relented only after the state government decided to transfer the ADM and the additional SP of Jodhpur. The doctors have been demanding action against the officers for ordering a lati charge on them and failing to provide security. Bureau Report headlines today. It took 68 deaths for the Rajasthan government to wake up from its slumber. Precious time was lost. The government dragged its feet. The doctors dug in their heels. Patients suffered. Let's now show you how the strike affected people like you and me, the common man, how precious lives were lost as the doctors and the Rajasthan government pickered. Seriously injured in an accident, this man is fighting for his life in a Bikaner hospital. His relatives are running around looking for a doctor, but there are none. The situation is equally grim in Udaipur, where eight people have died in the city's MB hospital. Angry and emotional people are blaming the strike for these deaths. Even little children are not getting any medical attention. What is worrying is Rajasthan has seen an outbreak of swine flu this year with more than 400 cases officially recorded. इस तरह से कुल मिलाके अपने क्षेत्र में जो यहाँ पे डेथ हुई है पांच पांच डेथ हो चुकी हैं जिनमें तीन कोटा के हैं और दो बाहर के हैं। As the impact of the strike takes its toll on those who are sick and need medical care, scenes like these greeted our cameras across Rajasthan. Bureau report headlines today. Will Rajasthan's doctors pay for the death of 68 patients? 68 people lost their lives. Their relatives want to know who is accountable. Joining us from ground zero at this time is Dr. Amit Agarwal. He's a final year resident surgeon in the Department of Plastic Surgery at Jodhpur. Dr. Saurabh Galoda is the General Secretary of the Jaipur Association of Resident Doctors. Both of them have been leading this doctor strike in a way. Professor Shriram Khanna is a leading consumer right activist. He's joining us from our studios in New Delhi. I want to come across to you, Dr. Agarwal, first. 68 patients are dead. You've got your demand accepted. But is this, according to you, a legitimate cost that's been borne by the people of Rajasthan? 68 deaths because you had a demand which you wanted the government to accept. 68 deaths. Is that an acceptable cost, Dr. Agarwal? 
uh, first I would like to tell you one thing very uh, clearly. See, you should not ignore the fact the kind of working atmosphere we do get in the hospitals as doctors. Okay. And secondly, regarding the what uh, the debts accountability, it's the government who's totally which is totally responsible for the debts, not we. See, it's it was something like uh, all our junior doctors were beaten mercilessly in in Jodhpur. Okay. What has government done for that? We we, we had done the strike immediately after that, no? Then what has government done? Why why the decision delay was there for 48 to 72 hours? Why was it not taken that time only? Can you can you answer me that question? Can the government answer that to that question? Why the why why do we have to build up the pressure on the government through showing our unity through mass strike? Why is can't it, it do it on its own? Reasonable cost. Yes, there was a demand. Yes, there is the question about why the government took so long to act. But is it a reasonable cost, Professor Khanna? See, Mr. Agarwal and his colleagues. It's not a matter of colleagues. I'm coming to you. I'm coming to his you. His colleagues. Their mission in life is to save lives. You know, this whole business of being a doctor is about saving lives. And if a doctor Correct. is responsible for any action that leads to taking away our life, it's the most shameful day in the life of a doctor. And I think the cost that uh. people have paid in this strike is not acceptable. And I think there is no law. That is why Mr. Agarwal and his friends can get away with murder. Because if there was a law, they could have been held responsible for criminal apathy. When tomorrow, our soldiers at the, at the front, okay, they, they are disgruntled about something. And, and the enemy attacks and these guys say, no, we won't fight. We are going home. You know what happens at that time? They are shot for desertion. That is the, that is the, the price they have to pay. Dr. And Agarwal, these guys get away free. Dr. Agarwal, respond to that. Yeah, I'll tell you uh, first thing very uh, promptly in this situation. See, uh, we are definitely there to save people's life, definitely. But when we have to save first, the first thing is we have to save ourselves also, na? What has happened? Like you, nobody is questioning that thing. What has happened is very shameful. Nobody is questioning that at all. Why people is not questioning that what has happened in Jodhpur that is uneventful and it should not happen again in future? Why is nobody is questioning our security in hospital? Why nobody is thinking that we should be given proper working atmosphere in the hospitals? That we should observe the people very well. See, it's not been two hours to the hospital uh, strike being over and the people already gone to the already already gone to the hospital for work. No, no, we're Dr. Agarwal, you make it seem as if you're doing the people. people of India and the people of Rajasthan a big favor. Let me tell you, my dear friend, your job is to go to work. Your job is to be at the hospital, That's not to true, make a big song and dance That's about true. the fact that you've gone back to work. That's your job. And as Mr. Khanna said, no, no, you deserve the That's people. If this was the That's army, the doctors time. would have been shot for desertion. See, that's understandable. See, Rahul, the thing that's is, I yesterday also said that as soon as uh, the strike, uh, we are ready to go to work as soon as government responds. And that is what we did. It's not that we did it and we want to highlight it that we did a very great thing. No, it was our job and as soon as it was over and uh, we have to go back to our job and that is what we are hey, doing. The so only thing died. I want to say is... What, what shame? The, sir, I mean, you could have saved all these lives. Sir, I think... Yeah, sir, you have been misinformed. One thing very uh, clear, Why? I want to make it clear. And even, uh, it has period? been coming in national media. How many people have died? Sir, I want... Sir, I want to make it clear to you. The thing is that uh, there were three hospitals running emergency services even in Jodhpur also, where it has been highlighted again and again that 68 people have uh, have uh, lost their lives. And all the emergencies were being uh, sent there and all the emergencies were being uh, taken care of. And sir, I want to also tell that the statistics have been taken for three days only. They have not been showing the whole trend or how many lives that are being lost in any place for that matter, Jodhpur, Jaipur or any place. But the least, uh, media has been projecting that only to, okay, 22 people act. lost life today. Listen. No, sir. Okay, me, there was no inaction in this part. Why sir, did the people yeah, sir. go and beat up the doctors? Let's understand. When doctors uh, yeah, I want create to, negligence, yeah, when yes, doctors I want are to, not I looking want, after I patients in a professional way, when no, there is malpractice, it, no, no, no sir. action can be taken against them. Sir, I uh, since you... Uh, and if I'll, there is I'll no law you, today to thing. hold doctors responsible. So what happens? This is not new what has happened in Rajasthan. Do you know it is happening in every other hospital every other day. Every week, every month we hear such evidence. Do you know why the doctor It is because beaten? there is no law to hold you? doctors accountable for malpractice and negligence. They get away with murder. So have people, you, people are forced to... Have you come to, to know why the doctor was beaten up? You tell me. 
Sir, do you know how the why why the doctor was beaten up? The doctor you was beaten me, up because the fan was not working. A doctor is a doctor is not an electrician who has to go and check whether the listen, fan is working listen, or not. Another listen, thing, a, a person no of a person of for accountability comes. of doctors. No medical and medical board yeah, has been yeah. set up you, to see what you, was the cause of this. You was you want to you want working? to fix responsibility for a, a, a for a not doctor. working fan on a doctor. Listen, you want to this fix is what the you're saying. Let the family of the patient come and tell us. You, we can't take your version as the final version. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, because also in yeah, Delhi, yeah, let, also let in Delhi, work. just one minute, Dr. Saurabh, also in Delhi, there's been an incident yeah. where there was a doctor who was treating to a patient, Mr. Khanna. The patient's relatives tell us the doctor gave up the treatment in the middle, went to join the Safdarjung hospital strike. The moment he found out that the doctors had gone on strike, he stopped treating the patient, went out and joined the Safdarjung doctors. That patient died as a consequence. Is that justifiable, Dr. No, Agarwal? it is not. And let any doctor understand, to, there, is, there is no law today, but we demand a law to hold doctors accountable for acts of omission or commission, malpractice or negligence, that if they fail to do their duty, they should have criminal liability and be sent to jail after a trial. Is that something which is acceptable to you, Dr. Agarwal? They don't have to you, accept everything. It's the parliament that should make a law. Not ask the doctors not what law will make to deal, deal with you. No, no, definitely not. No, it's no, not why is it not acceptable? Not. Why is it not acceptable? You if the doctors are negligent, why should they not country. be? Why should I'll they give not you be statistics. acted against? I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you a small, uh, I would just say a small thing that that has been happening. There are about, if you will say, 100 cases of uh, consumer uh, rights or uh, see action being taken against doctors, you'll find the courts have found that more than 99% of the cases have been frivolous. They have been either because the they person wanted to get some no cash out of the doctor or wanted to, to harass them. And doctor. it's something which has there been evidence, in the court. No, I'm telling no, you what has happened in the court. willing to come and say in the court that this is the malpractice. Because doctors are protecting one another. See, in the same you, way as policemen are protecting uh, why, one why another. Why do you say the doctors Therefore, are being protected? Why do you say the doctors are being protected? Why don't you say that the, the, the citizens are, and the persons who are making cases can be frivolous? Why they only the be, consumer is being not, held accountable? Listen. You, Why consumer is not held accountable if he does No he medical doctor is willing to give evidence against another person. Therefore, for lack of evidence, the it cases are being dismissed. Case. Not because there is no evidence. No, but explain this to me, Dr. Agarwal. Why should there not be a law? If there is a law for drunken driving, there should be a law against doctors who don't do their job properly. It's a demand that the people of India have. There yes, has to be a system of the redress. Union Minister, one thing I'll tell whether you, one he is thing, willing frankly, to draft a law see, thing, and bring it into that, parliament. Uh, see, it's, it's, it should not, it's, a, it's not a double such chat, chat show. Actually, we would all like to want to talk. I would like to say one thing, sir. Whatever it is. See, uh, these things are happening very frequently nowadays. See, whenever disaster management is there, wherever, wherever something like this happens, there has to be a disaster management team. I'll tell you very frankly, this is something like disaster management. Tell me, in any, of the, any of the government hospitals, do we have a disaster management team? Management. It do is we about have something? No, sir. Excuse me, sir. One thing, sir. Nothing, nothing has been like done you. to the government and side and for a result. What is happening is the resident doctor that's been okay, doesn't matter. 100 patients, 200 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 patients, we, because you we get have to do trial. We are talking about God's murder. The principle of trial. You have to see that and attend the serious patients first. The most, the most is mostly the serious patient, then less serious, then more, then more, uh, less, more less serious patients. And finally, we still see those patients who are not serious at all. This is a trial we are taught in uh, MBBS days only. Okay, sir. And Listen, in, you please the explain of death how these people died. That is, we are done. Who and are, that is who, the thing who, we have done. And, who died. That is the how thing many were serious? How many were semi serious? At 68 people have died. And you are trying to give us a lecture. Either no, your figure is wrong or this man no, uh, is not The figures are absolutely correct. Dr. Agarwal, you can't expect our, our us to wish this away. You can't say let life go on as no, normal. Dr. Agarwal, and his friends deserve to be in jail. Thanks to the Parliament of India, they don't have a law to put these guys in jail. And I am calling upon members of Parliament to wake up to discipline doctors who are taking callous decisions, who are doing malpractice, who are getting away with murder. And the See, Minister of Health of the Union government, government, government doesn't have the guts to create accept, a law. Government is not ready to accept whatever the, whatever the, see the audacity of the situation. Nobody is trying to understand what a, where are we in. Okay, but everybody Listen, is trying to Listen, there are people us. who have this died. Is, this is not correct at all. Now, how many doctors no, have died in this, in this three days? Not a single doctor has died. I'll tell 68. you. But Dr. Agarwal, it is okay, shameful what happened in Jaipur. A senior doctor, a senior doctor wanted to come back to work. Three young doctors got together. They got this guy. They badly injured him. 
because he wasn't allowed to go back to work. This is not acceptable. You can't wish the death of these 68 people away. No, no, and no, assume no that I haven't have sympathy. Been totally if, 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 I, if I would have known Rahul, that, you have been totally that the patient's family come, killed the doctor. Come to Jaipur and no, the single doctor has died. 68 people have died. And these deaths I'll, I'll on the hands of this man and his friends who organized the strike. And the chief minister of Rajasthan. They what is he doing? These guys should be in jail. They shouldn't be out. They're a threat to life. And it was totally a mutual uh, quarrel between the two. And not, nobody was stopped from acting, right? So it's a total misconception which you have been uh, uh, sending to the people. Nobody was stopped out here. And we strongly condemn this uh, statement that has been made on a national channel right now. Listen, six Nobody was people have died don't have as a result right of your one. action. Please clear your facts. You should be one. in jail. You should not be free. 68 people have died. Is okay, that correct or not? Want, but that is not the correct thing. Our senior doctors were in work. Uh, everybody were, like other people were in work. Okay, the, there was... Don't there was, pass uh, the buck. Have 68 people the died or not? You are just passing the buck. The 68 people must have died, definitely. No, 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 must have died means me. what, Dr. Agarwal? Dr. Agarwal, you are saying you must are have died. You are, you are not salesman. You are Sir, treating human life so casually. I am appalled by the attitude no, of these young doctors. You are you are saying 68 people must have died? There are patients, there are relatives, there are family members who are involved. They have lost their hair and their hair. Absolutely none. They are not working. These people are actually playing with the lives of people. And they don't deserve to practice. They sh such people who act like this, their medical licenses should be cancelled and they should be asked to go into other careers. They don't deserve to be doctors. Sir. But unfortunately, the Medical Sir, Council of India does not take action first. against such people. I already told three they, they, that body has become in I incompetent and important. And they don't warning. take action not against their own patient people. Who, who required emergency services died. Please be informed on your facts first. Don't blame and don't be judgmental upon things which are not in your control. You don't know the facts. You don't know how the people died. These also facts have been verified by this. Are you standing died. by these? I don't know if you have a question, no question about that. You are, are you didn't. sure there are 68 right. people have died? Okay, okay, let them produce evidence the that these people have not died. Will you broadcast it? Oh, 100% is so, not possible. So, Mr. Agarwal, challenge for you. Prove them wrong and they will apologize on television. Prove, Prove them wrong. There is nothing, what there is nothing wrong you, about these figures. Wrong. These figures have come from Jodhpur, they've come from Bikaner, they've come from Jaipur. There have yeah, been 68 deaths. Telling you that these and the have patients have been Jaipur. crying. We've That's got, I'm going to pull out some of those pictures. The patients are crying. Their relatives are saying, there's no one to treat these patients. Come on, let's not say that everything was fine. These patients are sitting out in the open. This young man over there, there's no one to treat him. The patients are told, Fend for yourself. The doctors are on strike. One doctor even walked away in the middle of uh, the treatment that he was giving because the strike began. Listen, such people deserve only one place, and that is in the central jail. That's the only place these people should be. And the health minister of India is accountable. Bring a law to send these guys to jail. Medical council will not do anything. Their doctors associations are able to lobby and influence. And, and doctors will uh, don't go to court to give evidence against other doctors. How are you, are you going to keep the people See, of this country at ransom with these very doctors, doctors who are irresponsible? Many doctors do. Don't irresponsible. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. Your mask right. is and there are very much issues which are there in the politics also in every issue. Only. We are speaking about this issue. Okay. Screw politics. It's about lives. Okay. You can't talk about politics when people no, are dying. You can debate in your rooms and your homes and your drawing rooms. But 80, 68 people have died in Rajasthan. No, that's what this is no, what headlines happened. today is saying. There can be no excuse for this. Oh, there can absolutely be no excuse. I'm going to end this debate over here for the moment, gentlemen. There can be no excuse. Sri Ram Khanna is saying action needs to be taken. And He's I'm also not saying you any excuse right not now. that there isn't much of a chance that the doctors will reform the system because there's a Western interest that the government needs to step in. The government too has been to be lethargic. Wrong. The government has been lethargic. Let's not just blame the doctors. Why was the government sleeping? for 72 hours before waking up only after 68 deaths had happened. For the moment, Sri Ram Khanna and to our doctors in Jaipur, thank you very much. I just hope, before I end this debate, Dr. Agarwal and Dr. Saurabh Galoda, I hope dearly that this is the last time you've gone on strike, and I hope even more dearly that no other patient, not in Jodhpur, not in Jaipur, not in any other city of our country, loses his life because he doesn't have a doctor to attend to him. That really is a shame. It's a pity. Doctors continue to remain absolutely unapologetic. There's finally some hope for the family of Captain Sumit Kohli. After headlines today aired the discrepancies in the army.